Number 16. The Blobfish You're unlikely to spot this flabtastic little beast in your oceanic adventures, because the blobfish prefers to live where the waters are dark and chilly. Even though some people think this formless fish is the ugliest animal on the planet, we beg to differ. It's cute and cheeky in its own way, and almost certainly could qualify as a real-life monster. With a squishy body and a perpetually frowning face, this fish looks like what would happen if you left Uncle Fester in the bathtub for too long. The blobfish doesn't interact with humans very often, but all of their encounters have been positive. Which is more than we can say for our next pick. Number 15. Mola Mola the Mola Mola's other name is Ocean Sunfish, but this bony beast is anything but sunny. It's a meaty monster that clocks in at 2,200 pounds, and is one of the heaviest creatures that you're likely to find lurking in the Seven Seas. These scary swimmers aren't human aggressive specifically, but they are extremely cautious and can barge in out of nowhere to scare the living hell out of unlucky swimmers. Number 14. Barrel Eye Fish The Barrel Eye Fish kind of looks like a sad miniature beluga with one very jaw-dropping twist. Their entire heads are translucent. That's right, you can see the Barrel Eye Fish's brain bopping away inside there and also get a glimpse of their huge eyes swiveling around. It's unnerving to say the least, but barrel eye fish aren't dangerous to people. At least, we don't think that they are. These shuddersome swimmers are deep water dwellers, so unless you're taking a little dip down into the Mariana Trench, you're unlikely to encounter one. Number 13. Fangtooth the fearsome fangtooth also goes by the name Ogrefish, and it's totally well-deserved. This toothy terror has a gnarly row of jacked-up teeth that are way disproportionate to its body. Unseating the blobfish as the weirdest-looking deep-sea dweller ever to rise out of the depths. We don't know if fangtooth is human-averse or friendly, because it lives so far beneath the waves. But if looks could kill, this hideous creature would be a stone-cold assassin. Number 12. Red-Lipped Batfish Pucker up, Buttercup! The red-lipped batfish is one of the most astounding animals ever to grace the ocean floor. These odd creatures use the tips of their wings to navigate the sea floor, and their faces are entirely made up with, you guessed it, bright red lips. Although the red-lipped batfish looks like it always wants to see the manager, it's got some resourceful qualities as well, like its ability to reel in smaller prey using its snout. You can find this bathing beauty skittering around in the Galapagos Islands of Ecuador. Number 11. Isopod Isopods are the fearsome oceanic bugs just waiting to slither into your deepest, darkest REM sleep. They are enormous, squicky, multi-legged bugs that not only look disgusting, but they pack a hell of a sting if you pick them up. Thanks to deep sea giganticism, the isopods that you're likely to come across on the seafloor can grow to a whopping 16 inches long, making them the king of the creepy crawlies. Fortunately, humans are unlikely to ever come in contact with these bizarre beasts. Number 10. Kiwa This cuddly crustacean is occasionally referred to as the Yeti Crab for its flowing furry claws. Surprisingly, the kiwa's coat is a feature, not a bug, and the bacteria collected on its claws are used to detoxify food at deep lengths. The kiwa is a lean, mean eating machine, hanging out roughly 5,000 feet below the waves off of Easter Island's coast. A hydrothermal vent keeps the kiwa happy, warm, and well fed. It also has a mystical connection, further cementing its monster status. In mythology, kiwa is the name of a benevolent sea guardian, 
and these fuzzy wonders are more scientific miracle than fearsome beast. Number 9. Viperfish Meet the Viperfish, a sadistic swimmer equipped with some of the Seven Seas best evolutionary hunting skills. It's extraordinarily dangerous, rising up from the inky depths at night to lure prey with its phosphorescent glow. That's right, the viperfish produces its own light, drawing creatures into the ethereal glow of its orbit before smashing them to smithereens on needle-sharp, massive teeth. The viperfish's teeth are too huge to be contained in its skull, so they jut out horribly around its face. Once you've been sucked in by the glowing beauty of this apex monster, watch out. The viperfish stretches its massive maw and impales prey quickly on its deadly teeth. It's neither a swift nor painless death. Number 8. Vampire Squid Although the vampire squid might look like it's been ripped right out of the pages of a Bram Stoker novel, this creature doesn't even drink blood. Its sole vampiric quality is a fashion accessory in the form of webbed skin that connects all of its tentacles, swirling behind like a spooky underwater cape. Since these little non-bloodsuckers are elusive, they were only recently discovered and given the name Vampirotuthis infernalis, or Vampire Squid of Hell. Clearly, this was one colossal overreaction and one that earned the gentle vampire squid a high place on this list. Number 7. Goblin Shark The goblin shark is a grisly reminder of the past. One scientist refers to it as a living fossil. Its face is dominated by an exposed, bony maw full of sharp teeth. But the most fearsome aspect of the goblin shark, and that's a tall order, is its huge head protrusion. Like a perverse unicorn, the goblin shark is crowned with a ghoulish horn that is used to part the chilly waters of the world. Thankfully, these living monsters are few and far between. There are only two recordings of goblin sharks ever seen in North America. Still, just the fact that these creatures are out there is enough to bring a permanent chill to your bones. Number 6. Northern Stargazer Although Northern Stargazer might sound like a delicious new double IPA or a fall-themed candle scent, it's actually a watery phantasm almost too nasty to comprehend. Its neutral coloration means that it can lie in wait buried in the sand until it's far too late. By the time unsuspecting prey realize what's going on, the northern stargazer has sprung into action, electrifying its victim with pulsating shocks, and then scooping it up into its toothy, razor-sharp mouth. Scuba divers, beware. You can find this maritime monster lying in wait all over the seafloors of the Atlantic coast. Number 5. Frilled Shark This prehistoric pariah is a cousin of the goblin shark but it's got a higher place on the list because of its sheer fright factor. Half shark, half serpent, all bone-chilling terror, the frilled shark is mercifully very rare. But unlike its ancient relative, the goblin shark, it does like to explore the surface. Frilled sharks flirt with warmer waters all the time and have been found as shallow as 160 feet deep. When you consider the fact that this animal can move seamlessly between deep and shallow waters, you have a bit of an idea of what a menace it is. Frilled sharks are ancient terrors, clocking in at two and a half million years old, meaning that they were roaming the seas when some of the big bads of the Paleolithic era had reign of the waters. Number 4. Anglerfish it evolves to be exponentially more bizarre as it ages, earning it one of the top spots on this list and in our nightmares. Like many briny behemoths, the anglerfish uses self-generated lights to attract its prey. Once they're within striking distance, it clamps down with massive rows of spiny teeth. 
skewering their victims and feasting away with abandon. What separates the anglerfish from your run-of-the-mill monster is that mature males lose their digestive system bit by bit and have to physically attach themselves to female anglerfish to stay alive. Number 3. Jasconus Although this creature may or may not exist, as told by Irish folklore, the legend of Jasconus lives on, and swims on, in the form of massive sperm whales. According to legend, Irish cleric St. Brendan and his band of monks attempted to cross the ocean, only to take refuge on an island for the night. The island shuddered and moved, revealing itself to be Jasconus. Oceanic lore is littered with creatures that might be sperm whales. These enormous cetaceans stretch nearly 70 feet long and can weigh up to 125,000 pounds, easily mistaken for small islands in the greater deep. Number 2. Hydra Greek lore is steeped in tales of the Hydra, a serpentine aquatic monster with an insatiable taste for blood. Hydras are supernatural scaries, having one fearsome immortal head and many others equally as adept at plucking sailors out of the ocean. Hercules had to kill a Hydra, and Odysseus had to best a Hydra in Homer's epic tale, The Odyssey. Interestingly, these mystical monsters are based on one real-life creature, whose gentle nature and intelligence we are now just starting to understand. Hydras are really octopuses, who, despite their gelatinous and frankly totally bizarre appearance, are not very vicious at all. Sure, an octopus's tentacles can wreak havoc on your skin, and they have been known to attack scuba divers that get too close but octopuses usually leave well enough alone. The same can't be said for our number one pick. Number one, Kraken. The almighty Kraken, terror of the seven seas. Literature and lore are simply stuffed with Kraken horror stories, specifically giant squids yanking sailors to the bottom of the sea or smashing up boats like matchwood. Aristotle first mentioned the Kraken in 350 BCE, and the fish story has just been getting bigger and bigger ever since. But there's a kernel of truth to even the most fantastical tales. Giant squid are truly terrifying animals, stretching up to 46 feet long and jam-packed with sinewy muscles. They can suck down whales and are exceptionally dangerous to humans, with deep sea fatalities reported at the hands or tentacles of these lethal creatures. Thanks for watching. Would you rather wake up with a kraken in your bed or get stranded in the middle of the sea for 24 hours? Let us know in the comment section below.